Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Choose to Lose campaign. Time for a supply raid and as always we're trying to beat the game with limited uh, equipment, limited classes, less hit points than normal and more enemies and harder enemies than normal. This is going to be good. Operation War Strike is a difficult or very difficult, yep, very difficult mission and most of our high-ranking soldiers are out. Our B team is tired. So what are we naturally going to do? We're going to go in with the C team. Double spark action. Are we even ready for that? A second spark wouldn't be able to take a rocket launcher. But at least we would have another shredding device and with the right weapon upgrades it might work out let's see do we have do we have something that increases hi its hit chance all right let me just double check the mods for the weapons good i found a scope on one of the heavier weapons so that'll be at least a starter and either autoloader or expanded magazine. I think we're going with the expanded magazine. All right, cool. It's not the best weapon in the world, but it is one that we can use. This here is the spark number two and double spark action. It has been a while that I have played with two sparks. But both of them will have plenty of options for high ground. Only the first one, uh, Primus, can take the rock launcher. Other than that, we got a plethora of different ammunition, some grenades, some shredding, and an ultrasonic lure, because I think we got the dark event that uh, will spawn uh, losses also in this mission. And uh, I am enjoying the lure quite a bit gotta be honest it is a great item good time to land and time to oh it seems to be a smash and grab mission i was about to say time to kill everybody but no this here is a smash and grab mission there is an interceptor i like those new tiles uh, they came in with the uh, legacy DLC so interceptor went down and over there is potentially the first pack of crates we're going to move in oh whoa, 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 whoa. that very much looked like is that a prime Hell no. Sectoid Archon. Okay. Let's first and foremost take these in cover. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Primus smooths up. Wrong planet is taking cover. I think heads could stay here I'm for away. now. And uh, the second spark might position itself just Scanning here. Uh, plenty of overwatch and maybe just maybe we're going to attack uh, attack one of those guys and essentially have an overwatch trap going all right Jerangs Moving over. Advanced skirmisher. 
That's a heavy mag. It's not even a super heavy mag, and that guy already has four armor. Holy shit. Let's just overwatch. I like the idea of an overwatch trap here. Got a distinct feeling that we're going to run into... Or that they are going to run into us. Okay, cool. So, uh, they have just decided to rush into us. Wonderful. That's right. As you order. Perfect. And the other pack even moves away. That is not bad. What are we dealing with? Heavy riot mac. Archon. Archon Valkyrie. Okay, not an Archon Prime. It's killing time. It looks nasty, though. Seventy percent for a kill, or we're going ninety-five percent. That he might still survive. Wait, 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 wait. We got combat protocol. One of our sparks is going to tank and it'll be the newer one. Starting to hit uh, that mech. Fantastic, that worked like a charm. Now, as I was saying, this here should kill, and we're getting death from above. Okay, we could overwatch if we wanted to. Can't yet see that Valkyrie. I'm not 100% sure what a Valkyrie... A Valkyrie sounds like... Like one of uh, those, uh, one of uh, those blazing pinions spitters. I'm not sure if he just has improved blazing pinions, or if there is anything else that is Valkyrie about him. Do we have tracking shot? Not yet. Okay, so that will not work out. be careful I don't want to trigger both of the other packs on top of what we're anyways fighting moving. good so carefully moving overdrive And this is potentially not a really good hit chance. Yeah, I figured that that would be the case. Uh, we can't use the rocket launcher. And 30% is not good as a hit chance.
impossible to find an angle that will work with uh, him. If I'm moving to, through here, that'll pull those two guys. So having the frost bomb really does nothing for us. We can use Bombard, but Bombard will not shred him. And we couldn't throw far enough. We can barely hit. But at this point, we would be triggering the entire enemy lineup. So instead... We're going back. We would still be hitting all of the uh, the uh, picks from here, which is hilarious if you think about it. Good. That leaves only an Overwatch play. Again, not a perfect time. Not a perfect timing, but the smoke and everything on top just makes it incredibly difficult to even hit this guy. That was a double movement. So far, so good. Yes, we could extend and essentially pull that other pack. Not a bad idea. I think we should go for it. I'm a bit worried about the timing, so we got to speed this process up. is pretty nimble okay that was a good hit let's trigger his death from above So the first pack is being dealt with. Interestingly enough, if you throw the axe and someone is immune to melee, they won't take any damage. However, if you're just throwing it like we were currently trying to do, it will not count as extra melee damage. Strange, right? We could pull them. I think it's a fair it's a fair use of the ability. We still got more cover removal. So time to massage that Archon. Potentially not enough power to actually get him down. We're 
we're going to see whether or not this is hit, uh, going to hit. No, it does not. So we need crowd control. Hate to do it. But we're reloading and we're frost bombing. Okay, talking about really, really poor timing. That was really, really poor timing. And we're potentially going to take a couple of hits here. I was not aware that we're immediately about to trigger a swarm. There was no indication. bad i was hoping we would be able to kill those lost with one shot well at least some extra xp the problem that we're having with the loss in this particular mission of course is the timer is still going That's a lot of hit points to chew through. There is weak as ever. These hands are a bit clumsy. Guns fire bullets or live and sometimes plasma. Did I mention I need ammo? Good risk. Half down, half fire. All right, we're dealing enough damage to get the, uh, get them down but the problem as always is the moment that you're not dealing maximum damage or hitting that 90 plus percent shot things are turning into a pretty poor direction two four six seven well that'll be a kill careful here those guys might add very soon. Reloaded. Fantastic damage. Love it. Crates have already been marked, so we do have a problem. Only the best. As you wish. Moving up. Rolling. Really got to speed up this process. Not going to get that crate. It's always the target should be three to four Overwatch. crates, right? Moving to Overwatch. And the first two are already gone. On the flip side, we had two pretty beefy packs at the beginning and we immediately got rid of them, specifically the one with the Archon Valkyrie. An Archon with four armor. That is nuts. Moving up, eventually triggering. Moving. 
There is yet another mech further down. Not a kill, not a hundred percent. Movement engaged. But we do have a combat protocol option. So what we could do is simply reload and use our comet protocol. There is yet another mech uh, further, further into the map and we're out of comet protocols. We don't have haywire on heads yet. Heads is the name of uh, the specialist. Good. Are we going to go closer? Is the question. I'll take the high road. This here could sure be thing. beneficial. Just having better aiming angles overall. Moving. So the skirmisher is a problem. We're not going to get rid of uh, the cover, but we can at least damage him plus the explosion might damage him even further. Hmm. I was hoping for a bit more. A bit more oomph. Position. 37% is not good enough. This might explode the whole thing. Not sure if acid grenades have environmental damage. Turns out they don't. But if that uh, thing blows up, he will die. We're going to get some counterplay from from the skirmisher. Let's try to get him down. Thankfully our sniper is on point, taking the opportunity to reload. And yeah, we gotta continue to march forward to be honest. That's affirmative. Move into here. Continuing to move now, and reload, and Ed's is going to take the option to just charge in. Closing on target position now. Okay, we're going to lose more oh, crates, this unit scanners are active. which is lamentable, but we had like three massive packs to even go through. Plus, a uh, pretty sizable horde of loss. So all of that, unfortunately, took some that uh, some time. We know the enemy is right over there. It feels good to move around. Time to move in. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a bunch. That is a bunch. Um Well I gotta tell you what. 
we still need to deal with them. Moving up, we got our overdrive ready again. Keep in mind the rock launcher does not exist. This here is strictly shredding in order to set up the mech. Those were some fine hits. Good job. I can't really get uh, close enough to them. Moving up. And it appears we got it down to 1 HP. That is quite disappointing. We could do that, explode the car, and kill the mech at the same time. We don't want to cluster up. Moving here almost begs for a grenade. the guy 100% just to kill him if we were to basically uh, hit right here literally here that would destroy plus explode plus remove the crates and we could dead eye kill uh, the um, other soldier good so now dead eye should be a thing 70%, come on. By the numbers. This here is burning, but not yet, like, really in a kind of explosion state. In an optimal world, we could uh, charge in and press forward, but okay. that's most likely not going to work. Can't really grapple hook anywhere else. The high ground here is the best we can get for now. So might as well reload and accept that. This might trigger a swarm, who knows. Well, in case if a swarm appears. Oh, 
those guys would end up being the target. Good, we're moving up. Time to get the trooper. Yes, sir. Pushing forward. Now is a good time for an overdrive. Super takes a nice little beating and what is what 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 a shogoth kind of an abomination is that Like a wise man once said, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Mark the supplies. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. And let us all. Not even sure if this here is. If we can see this guy from here. Apparently, he's invisible. So we got one crate so far and a Shogoth, which seems to be kind of a faceless version of an advent. Enemy unit destroyed. That's a nasty surprise if you're doing an all melee run. Like I'm current, uh, like I have currently been doing with the no shot run, then these guys would really be a nasty surprise. Imagine you are planning to just kill um, a guy in melee, and then all of a sudden a shogoth appears. It's a cool idea, although I'm not fully convinced yet whether or not it's viable right because oftentimes you are just trying to kill those uh, enemies okay let's let's move a bit closer High ground bonus of plus 20 gets negated if you are too far away. Okay, we can get some more supply crates. Fantastic. It gives me enough confidence oh, to yeah. do that sprint. We got more crates over there. Okay. Uh, Very good. Spaces, the fresh air. Hit it there now. And as for a sniper, I think this here is okay. We would be better to be positioned over here. 
You can't have it all though. Good. Three crates, which was the minimum, is what we've got. There is a bit of a shaking on the ground. I don't like that. It could be an Andromedon, but it's unlikely. More likely is that we're seeing a Sectopod. Trying to see through the fo fog of war if any the building uh, any exterior parts of the building have been compromised i.e just ran through it seems intact at the moment which would speak against the sector pod i'm compelled to agree the aliens use this to defeat most of earth's heavy conventional forces it can punch through armor just as easily as it chews through infantry be careful Sometimes I hate being right. I really do. Roger that. So what are we going to do with all of these enemies? First things first. Aid protocol so that our spark might not immediately die. Secondly, we gotta deal with that massive sector pod. One way or the other. Starting to shred it. Almost no damage that this guy is taking. We could also move back because we do have technical analysis on those guys. Every single one of them has only one action. Could hit the sector port. not pretty though. If I was to move back, I think we had an overwatch here. So we would eventually attract one shot. But then again, if we're staying there, we're going to attract like what? Incendiary grenade, maybe a sniping and another shot. On the other hand, we could start Hitting the sector pot. Are we going to get it down though? Unlikely. That would be a good chunk of damage. We're completely ignoring the armor. I could go kill zone, which would maximize our reaction fire. At the same time, we really want to only hit one target, which is that sector pod. Difficult decision. I mean, my intuition tells me that going back might be the right uh, the right call here. Let's check one thing because we can't kill the sector port anyways. Might as well see if we can spawn another swarm, please. The ultrasonic lure does not seem to work like that.
Alright, reloading. And we're dealing some moderate amount of damage, which is okay. Good. Moving back. All of them do have tactical analysis. Sectorpod will get one shot and that might be deadly, quite deadly. Well, Wrath Cannon is the least deadly option. Okay, good. So, a couple of things. Number one, overdrive. Gotta shred the enemies. Perfect. It's fully shredded, which means we might want to continue with the heavy mech, which is also starting to get pretty shredded. Did we not kill it? Holy shit, still alive. Okay. Well. Gotta move further back. And eventually kill it completely. Fantastic, good. So... That's one zero for us. Next turn, we will be able to uh, use overdrive again. I don't want to stand completely near the others, though, so. I also don't want to stand right next to that explosive set of crates. Maybe we're just positioning ourselves here. I feel light on my feet. Good enough to shred this guy. Likely not going to be a kill shot. Can't grapple somewhere. And we're looking at the 50 50. That's not the type of chances that I wanted to take. I don't like the half cover. This here is a bit closer, but not by much. There is still a line of sight from within here, so I'm trying to move out of it. Now. Essentially moving to here, although it is just half cover, trying to maximize the chance of hitting this guy. 60% is a miss. So let's double down. Frostbite. Very good. That solves the immediate problem.
and I think we're just going to not cluster up. Because those incendiary grenades are real. And if he just moves in and does a Hail Mary play, we're going to lose a lot of momentum just by burning. Okay, good. A couple of things. First things first. That was a good hit. Good to go. Reload into hundred percent kill. move up and hit him really really well Physical exertion outpoint. overdrive starting to set up the purifier How about we're just killing this guy? Fantastic. Good. Servos engaged. Good. It would be totally easy to use our... To use our explosive to, to get him out of there. Fortunately, that is not how it works. Most likely the last pack. If we go in for a strike, he will get the full cover bonus. Fifty percent chance to hit him. Well, there's always a chance that we're getting rid of his cover. Your poor habits must be wearing off on me. I'm going to need more Which so far, we're not. He's not really going to move. Uh, but a bit of overwatch won't hurt. Yeah. That was... foreseeable. I think we do not have an outloader left. Reloading. I think we do not have an outloader left. Oh boy, now we're going to take another hit. We could go in with a strike, but it won't kill him. Roger that. 50 50. Nope, yeah. no good. Low on ammo. Finally. Still has too much hit points. Let's rock. That is not good. This guy is is keeping us well on our toes. Offering a target rich environment to him.
and we got ourselves exactly three crates which considering just how loaded that entire map was it's not a bad uh, trade overall Good, moving up, and this should be a kill. Not a crit, but a pretty solid hit. Alright, moving in. Oh my god, he's still alive. He's burning, so he's going to die, but he's still alive, which... Sure that guy is tough as nails. Eventually, he got uh, murdered. 28 enemies. Well, that is, that's what I call a very difficult mission. Good, here we go. So finally we got a promotion, unfortunately our sparks took quite a bit of damage. Hunter protocol is fantastic, I absolutely love it. And the energy field on the other side is so and so. It kind of is good together with intimidate, so... Having that plus Intimidate and Bulwark, I can understand what the idea behind that tank was. Takes shots, you gain more damage and you can essentially repair yourself and just be a frontline menace. So even if you just go future combat from top to bottom, it's potentially not a bad uh, trade. I would always go Adaptive Aim, aim Rainmaker, Intimidate, Repair and then Hunter Protocol, but I mean by all means straight up future combat is potentially even str uh, stronger than the war machine good what did we get 75 supplies oh, not bad and the sector port could be an upgrade for gremlin mark 3 so that in itself is a helpful is a helpful tool to have Grenade and ammunition. Hmm. Avenger plotting new course. Is it worth eight the days? Is the question. Coming in for you now, Commander. You have made considerable progress against the aliens. Good. The warlock can now overwatch upon ending its turn. That is a bit of a problem. Just like. The assassin we might want to kill her sooner than later additional dark event stinks so vigilance we definitely want to counter that more explosives that sucks as well got a counter left behind sooner or later that's a nasty one and very soon we're going to see another facility So we effectively need to go for a facility really, really soon. Let's finish this here real quick. Game gives us a lot of loot. What can I do for you, Commander? Okay, so with weapons, I know we need beam cannons, but. We potentially even need the Alarum faced cannon more. So let's start with that. Shotguns or beam cannons? What is it going to be? Difficult uh, choice. I like both. The shotguns are cheaper though, so might as well just go for it. Beam cannons have to wait just a tiny bit. Advanced Grenade Launcher, on the other hand, we can definitely go into it. 
That'll give us quite a bit more oomph and um, specifically width. So the size of the explosion will increase. Good. We don't have enough intel to make contact, so that should be the next priority. Gaining intel. I like grenade and ammunition up here, as it will give us two items uh, over the course of eight days, but I can't see that going through. There will be so many events happening, so let's just get some intel, some solid intel, and try to get to the next uh, facility generally speaking once we're done with it is just as I had hoped, command. with the next covert ops we might want to go for the chosen and there we go the advent sun lancer means, means we also uh, get a few upgraded weapons it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification. We can skip most of them, I, I think. Are not all that from their but experimental armor, that one is good. Armor, we can certainly um, use, uh, use that. I would like to go for powered armor, but we do not have enough alien alloys. I would like to go for plasma lens as well. Gotta get the Archon autopsy first, though. In terms of intel, one thing that we could do is... We could just go through the four days and just gain intel that way. We'll I think that's not a bad idea. Also, a couple of uh, breakthroughs are usually triggered. some casualties during that last yeah, unfortunately we got a wounding but our troops will all recover after some well -earned. okay so is, we've got a new trick or two available commander let's take Maybe a look give them a try. facility lead not bad but we are almost there so we don't need it between the eyes is a fantastic one plus a promotion so we're likely going to do that first Reinforced light armor and 10 dodge. Are you kidding me? So in seven days, Wurtz is back. Me that means we would even get a day off. So that would be six days. And light armor is all, uh, all of the Wrath suits. So this one here is a must do. Mobility plus one is not bad. Yeah, the rest is okay. So potentially the order is we're going to go for between the eyes. Then we're going to go for dodge plus 10. And then afterwards, we're going to locate his stronghold. In terms of promotion, mentioned it before. Let's get quick feet here. And there might be an ambush, but yeah, that's not a problem. And there might be some wounding, that's not a problem either. I think the promotion is good, because uh, that way we're just going to have an almost complete colonel team. Only Jessica Jones is missing. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Good, so... Plus, Between the Eyes is fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic uh, resistance order. Plasma grenade is a great up, uh, upgrade, uh, which also leads into advanced explosives. Unfortunately, we don't have enough alloys. That one is good because it uh, upgrades all of uh, the grenades. And here we would have a bit of experimental armor. I think we want to start with that. 
Nice one. Got a hazmat vest right away. That's a good item. And we're going to get some more experimental M armor as time goes by. For now, I want to get to the next large facility, potentially this one here. Alternatively, once the covert, uh, covert action is gone, we might want to kill the Chosen. We have made a number of new discoveries. 128 intel, that's what I'm talking about. Good, we could get just an inspired one day additional an additional intel. And whilst we're at it, I think we had some more negative. Yeah, Mike Bravo had some negative quirks. Let's take them away. And let, let's establish contact. We are getting both of those facilities in range and I would, as soon as we're ready, I would actually go for the facility. The Chosen still can wait a few more days. 85, fantastic. Okay, so how about a sector port breakdown just to get uh, level 3 uh, level 3 gremlins well, that would not be too bad the other option is the archon break the, uh, the archon autopsy for plasma lands let's go with the archon first because we don't have two uh, sector port shells we need a second one too um, or do we no I think we don't I think we don't it's just a flat up uh, flat out upgrade so let's go From with the I've sector port Maybe we should start training someone else to Level the event. three will also give us quite a bit, uh, quite a bit uh, more hacking facilities. potential. We got more facilities, and you can see the um, avatar timer goes up. But if we kill that facility here, we're like four down. And that is fantastic. Even more intel. So the game really wants us to expand now. Having a scientist on top of it is not too bad. Because it will speed up the whole uh, research just a bit more. We don't have anything to do in proving grounds at this point. Mainly because we're short on Elarium and Alloys. But we will eventually get it as soon as we have cores. In terms of training, let's just take a look. I mean, we want to get Jessica Jones up to a major rank so that we can use another promotion mission to get her up to Colonel. Um, Primo still is lacking that one additional rank, so we're not quite there yet. And Quick Feet soon is going to be a Colonel, so our Prime team looks really, really good. Hail of Bullets is a good option for Frodo. Volatile Mix, not needed yet. Let's get Shadow Step first. And Hail of Bullets back. would be the you next one. Trust me, he knows. If there was one thing your father always kept in mind, it okay. was the of humanity. He knew we could win on our own terms. So far, so good. Let's just double check that. So I'm not sure. Jessica Rabbit should be almost done with her captain ring. She took a couple of hits and was in the sick bay, but. It shouldn't be too long until she gets up to a major rank, and once that happens, yeah, we would get her to Colonel. That would 
complete at least everything but the spark. Once we're there, um, we can take that main team and just train with them to further upgrade them and give them the main equipment. They will be the ones that are doing all of the storyline missions and the harder missions. So they would be the ones going for, let's say, the Chosen, for instance, or maybe the XCOM, um, maybe the facilities, although the facilities are not hard enough. Yeah, well, the hard missions, you, uh, you get what I'm saying. So those guys would be uh, the ones that we can use for it. And I think their first mission towards the end of this month would be to kill the assassin that way we would have rashi and the um the blade as well that's a pretty solid upgrade for quick feet who uh, could ignore armor and uh, hit 100 percent with his blade storm so that's not too bad i'm still wondering we potentially would need to hand over the the grappling suit to Wurtz so she can take the high ground and we're yeah we still don't have an up uh, an upgrade yet um, for for Frodo a war suit that he could use the Icarus suit then could potentially go where would we put that we got the Icarus and the rage suit left over I mean, the Icarus suit really goes with everything. The Rage suit would be on Frodo, so we don't even need to build a war suit. We're just giving him the Rage suit. And the Icarus suit, I mean, uh, Wards already... Well, we could give the Icarus suit to Wards. That way, she would also have a bit more, um, a bit more carrying capacity and still could kind of jump up and switch positions so that's potentially even better so Icarus suit on Wurtz and Jessica Rabbit would be the one with the snake suit rage suit on Frodo maybe another now nah, we're not going to go for another war suit I think we're fine uh, we got pr uh, Primus with even more heavy weapons and quick feet essentially would just carry a couple of items um, mainly a vest or something that will allow him to tank so yeah that's the idea uh, that's the long-term plan but there are quite a bit uh, of obstacles that we need to take until then if you enjoy what you've seen leave a comment and a like down below guys and see you in two days okay bye bye